Hey, eighth grade. So going over what we discussed in class today. Um, we were drawing triangles. In the first triangle we drew, we were supposed to draw the same side lengths as triangle A. And the second one, we were supposed to do the same angle measures as triangle B. And so here it is. How are they alike? How are they different? So to talk about the alike, when we look at triangle A, it had same side lengths. And some of us realized it also had same angle measures. That was the only way we could draw it, angle measures. When it came to triangle B, we had same angle measures. And some of you may have measured the side lengths and then drew it the same. But what we're supposed to get from here is that if we know the angle measures, we won't necessarily get the exact same side lengths. So how are they different? Well, the thing about triangle A that is that the only way triangle A is different is if you changed its orientation orientation. So changed orientation. And that just means orientation. that just means the way it was drawn, kind of like these two triangles down here. Their orientation is different. What was on bottom is no longer on bottom. When it came to triangle B, some of us had different side lengths. along with maybe changing orientation so you could add the change orientation. But that's how our triangles were alike and how they were different from the original triangles given to us. Now when it says to the look ahead, it says you can draw a triangle that has all the same lengths as triangle A because it is in a different position. It is considered to be the same, or but is in a different position. It is considered to be the same triangle as triangle A because you can turn and flip it in order to cover triangle A exactly. So what that is saying is just because I draw the same side lengths just in a different orientation does not mean I have two different triangles. They are the same triangle. They're just drawn slight like in a different order, right? But if I reflect it, rotate it, and put it back on top of the original triangle, Point for point, it is going to match. We call that congruent. Uh, when you know all three side lengths of a triangle, there is only one possible triangle you can make, and we call this a unique triangle. So then question A is asking, why are the triangles at the right the same unique triangle? And the reason is, just like it's set up here, if we know all three side lengths, there is only one possible triangle, and we know all three side lengths, and they are all three the same. And so, why are the triangles at the right the same unique triangle? Short answer, they have all the same side lengths. You can also just say they have the same side lengths just rotated in a rotated or reflected however you want to put it all right and then question b asks well when you enlarge or reduce a triangle while keeping the angle measures the same you make a different triangle why are the three triangles at the right different well when we look at these our angles stayed the same they're all using this 130 degree angle and all of these have a 60 degree angle and a 90 degree angle but our side lengths keep going getting bigger, or if the middle one was our beginning one, then one got smaller, one got bigger. So why are the three triangles at the right different? And they have different side lengths. So we can have the same angle measures, 
but we're not guaranteed the same side lengths. Notice that they put these triangles all on top of each other. I can still see three distinct triangles. Number three, in some classes, I answer, we answered this together, and in some classes, I left this as a check to see if we understood. So I'm not going to answer that in the video because depending on which class you're from, I'm trying to see if you know why these two triangles are either the same or why they're different and explaining why. After that, the rest of this packet, everything else in this packet is your homework. So you should be telling me everything you know about a triangle, deciding whether what he drew is a triangle, drawing these triangles. Again, it says draw another. So you're supposed to be trying to draw something that is different um, and answering question B. That is your assignment. Several of you have finished. Some of you still need to finish. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day, eighth grade, and I will see you in class.